Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? What is happening, people? Today we are back with Pokemon Uranium, and we're going to be continuing our story. I mean, our journey throughout the region. Now, we are very underleveled. The Pokemon here are mostly around their mid-50s, while we are stuck still in our mid-40s. So the Pokemon here are about 10 levels higher than us. We are going to continue, though, and see if we can uh, endure this. Hopefully, hopefully it won't be too difficult. But anyway, we're going to talk to this very ominous, not ominous, um, I don't know, this remote lady over here by this edge, I don't know. There is nothing like watching the serenity of the ocean at night, the gentle reflection of the moon and stars. It soothes this old soul. Oh, that must be a great sight to look at. I wish I had, uh, lived somewhere where I could just go somewhere and just look at that. This village holds the biggest shrine to the gods in all of Tindor. It also serves as this town's Pokemon gym. There are so many different spying styles practiced here. I have years of uh, training ahead of me if I want to master them all. Oh wow. Secret technique, bear hand the bleach, hop. So you have arrived at last. Please be welcome to my dojo. I am known as Grandmaster Yoshi... Yoshi... Taka. Who... 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 Ha, he... Who... Who... He... Who... Uh, what the fuck am I doing? He who has mastered six arts. And you are Pluto. The one who defeated my disciple, Hukage. I am... I can see you are quite strong, Arlendi. Yes, indeed. You are the one I am looking for. I am known as the Master of Six Arts. Endurance, Attack, Defense, Special Attack, Special Defense, and Speed. Those are the core principles of the Six Arts. In my years, I have taken many disciples. Of them all, there are six ninjas which have attained in true mastery of their art. These six masters have felt left Tsuguinami village. Now they travel across Tendor, each teaching their ways of their style. I have summoned you ha I su I have summoned you here to ask of you a favor. For I came in here with my own fruition, intuition. I'm not sure what tuition even means, but whatever. It, it rhymed, so. <laughs> you, you, who have journeyed so far, who seeks to become even stronger. In my old age, I have gained a certain clairvoyance. I can tell that something is coming. The village will soon be in danger, and I need a I need to gather my disciples together again, but my dis duties keep me from bound here. But my duties keep me bound here. What duties, old man? Other than copying, chopping down trees in your long time. <laughs> like, what the hell are you doing here, man? To my dojo. That is why I'm asking you. You must journey to them and deliver a message that they are needed. Obtain this guy's letter. Do this, and you will become an honorary member of our ninja clan. I will teach you my secret techniques, and you will earn the right to use the sacred Pokemon of Tsukuinami. That's a cock of you! But bear in mind, some of my disciples, they are stubborn and proud. They will need you to prove them yourself to them before they agree to return. From that I hear, you are quite a strong trainer already. I believe that you have what it takes to earn the respect. Okay, I got a text message. No, that's a Snapchat. A snap or a text message? Like, what's the difference? Oh, I can see a picture of myself on my Snapchat. That's... Hmm. Looks like I've been a little well rested. That's good. I don't have bags under my eye like usual. <laughs> I tend to do. Because I play so many damn video games. Um, I didn't talk to this kid, did I? I'm trained to be a ninja master. I've already developed my own technique. Ninja split top. Split ball? Oh, disgusting. This village <laughs> exists as a symbol of harmony between our people. We came together to build this as a sign of peace after hundreds of years of war. From what? Hundreds of years of what? What the hell? These people sell one of the best stuff in the entire region, so... Hello, hello, I sell rare delicacies from all over the world. 
Yeah, they sell some of the best stuff. Okay, this is just an understatement. You sell the bogus shit in the world, bro. Been around the world, you only sell three items. Hiya, I see you are a trainer. I sell items and give your Pokemon the edge in the battle. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, this is definitely... Now, this guy is far more intelligent and better. This guy was nothing more than helpful. This guy actually has stuff I need. Here, okay, okay. If the holder moves after the foe, its critical hit ratio is boosted. Wait a second. If the holder moves after... Okay, okay. So you have to move before your opponent. This is good. This is a great item for Pokemon like my uh, Luxlong because it has super luck. Um, problem is, it's defensive, so left of is just a better option overall. It is a... Okay, so White Lens. I think this gives your Pokemon a 5% extra accuracy. But the thing is, I'm not entirely sure about that because I think I missed a move once in my lifetime. Um, it was a 95% accurate move. And I still missed with it. Even though I, my Pokemon is holding the wide lens. So I still think that this item isn't actually good. I don't think it's actually um, good at all even. This used to be used on Heatran a while back. But not anymore. Scope lens. That item used to be decent, but not, not anymore. Flame Orb, Toxic Orb, Life Orb. How many Life Orbs do I have? Jesus, it costs like 20000 It's pretty expensive. Expert belt. Um, we buy one. I'm gonna give that to my second bear. Focus sash. I can use that maybe. It's so expensive. Choice specs. Choice bands. Choice. Okay. Um, I have a Gyarados. I don't want him having it. I have a S51. I think a choice scarf would be decent on him maybe. Um, I have a. So the expert belt is going on my second bear. I have a Life Orb on my Nucleon, Mega Stone on my Metalynx, Leftovers on my uh, Luxalong, Life Orb, Extra Belt, Mega Stone. Okay, so that leaves the rest of the two. Gyarados can hold maybe a... Maybe a... I'll look into it. I'll look into it. But uh, outside of that, I'm not sure who else needs what. Leftovers, Mega Stone, Expert Belt. Uh, oh, that's right, S51 and Gyarados. So you guys can hold. Maybe S51. I was about, thinking about a Choice Scarf or a Choice Specs with you. S51. But uh, instead, I can run maybe. I don't even know. I don't know, like, put one of this typing, like Jirachi, you would just give it something like maybe uh, leftovers. I could give it leftovers with this calm mind and shit. I don't know what to really give it. Oh, I already. Oh, that's right. I bought an expert belt. <laughs> I thought I already had an expert belt, and I was like, what? What? <laughs> I thought I wasted so much money for no reason. But now we're good. I think I'm just gonna have to give my Gyarados a, uh, and my S51A leftovers. I think I think they just hold leftovers. I want to have like a choice band, as a choice scarf. Those things are really good in the battle. Maybe S51 can learn a uh, trick. I can teach Psychic, Flashkin, and uh, and uh, what else? Um, psychic, Flashkin, and some other move. Hit by a fire, maybe. And, uh... Yeah, I could Toy Scarf. And I could teach a trick. And Gary, that was gonna learn, I don't even know. Ah, oh, that's my nephew. No, 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 I guess Gyarados can hold leftovers. I would give him a Z crystal <laughs> if that were in the game. Are you a Pokemon collector? Surely you are searching to searching to capture them all. Oh, so she has Pokeballs. Oh, yes, she does. 
A level ball I do not need. <laughs> not my level. Fastball, heavy ball, lower ball, lower ball. I don't need enough. My team is complete, so. Not necessarily, but yeah. That statue depicts the Pokemon Yatakura. It is a rare and sacred to the ninja clans. Only the proven are allowed to train them. They are Sei Yatakura has the power to summon thunderstorms at will. That's why they call it the Storm Ringer Pokemon. Yes, yes. That Pokemon is very, very awesome. I actually have one. Sort of. Why do we wear black all the time? Well, because it's cool. Duh. Plus, you can't tell when it gets dirty. That's also true. We ninjas are working on it, our image. The whole mysterious and deadly thing doesn't make for a great PR. PR? What was that? What is this? Legend Museum. Oh, it's a museum. I'll, I'll do this later. I should. No, I'm gonna do it now. Please do not touch the exhibits. Many of them are priceless artifacts. You can suck my balls. Oh, model of a Hinami clan longship. To control the seas and islands around the region, the clans need a powerful armada. Arm? Ada? These ships were packed with cutting edge technology and weapons. They are harbored armies. They all harbored armies of battle Pokemon equipped for ocean warfare. It used to be that no one could challenge the clans for dominance over the sea. Sure, it was a time of violent war, but they also made sure that merchants had safe passage. Now that the clans are gone, there are pirates everywhere. Under the old kings, only the, no only the nobility were allowed to raise Pokemon. Any peasant who caught training Pokemon was thrown in jail or sentenced to death. I can't even imagine what life without Pokemon would be. I can't believe the fantasy theater is over 200 years old. Well, it's no surprise then that they held such traditional views. Still, it's great to see that modern generation being fresh. Whatever. What do you think happened to the people who live in Bakar Rainforest? Do you think they just disappeared? Arrowheads found in Bakal archaeological site. Evidence indicates that Bakal uh, in indigen indigenous? indigenous oh indigenous groups haunted the forged haunted the uh, foraged foraged for their food. Use them. Vocabulary words I do not know. <laughs> for their food, and they live in huts made from wood and dried palm leaves. However, they also built large stone temples, carvings, and the temples indicate a different distribution of Pokemon species at the time they settled the region. Now, I should be st stopping at these periods, but I'm trying to read and go. <laughs> Traditional war helmets of T Tisuki and Nami clans. Ah, oh, shit. Helmets were often made to resemble Pokemon such as Uchabra. These were used in bow to give the warrior an intimidating look. Okay, that, that will be a lot longer. Yeesh, how many more exhibits? Oh, okay, this looks interesting. Gentle, protective, yet so powerful. The perfect Pokemon. The Earthshaker Pokemon. This Pokemon struck fear into ear early Tandorians by causing earthquakes with its massive tails. One particularly fearsome one was called the Beast of 1000 Horns by locals. Man, I really want a Yatagora Guru. Where can I catch one? Yatagaru. Garu. Yatagaru. <laughs> the Stormbreaker Pokemon. This rare Pokemon is sacred to the Ninja Clans. It can summon storms at will. It is often depicted fighting with Cat Tilith. You want to know how to catch Otius and Motius? Haha, <laughs> listen. Have you heard of the Pokemon Hoa and Lugia, Lias and Laios, Erzerius and Yveltal, Reshim and Zekrom? Those are all aspects of the two great spirits. Don't believe me? Ask the gym leaders 
Hinata and Kaito. They are mortal avatars of the gods, after all. Wow, that's something. Otius and Motius, gods of Tandor. Otius and Motius are worshipped all over the Tandor in various ways. Some say that they are Pokemon, some say they are spirits without form. They are accounts of them. Wait. Liana? No. There are accounts of them taking on avatars and greet granting powers and visions. That's cool. Ileana is my nephew. <sighs> One second. Come in here, don't touch that trash. Come here. Alright. Ready to stay there? Don't. don't throw anything on the ground. She is practically one years old. Uh, she cannot talk. Hey. You're looking at... Wait, what? Hey, where are you looking at, mate? I'm not here for any Mallor... Mallor key. Got it? Just looking at some big statues. Definitely not gathering evidence for the captain. Nope. <laughs> Krakenio. Krakenio? Krakenio. Okay, Krakenio. The vengeful maelstorm. The third and most feared of the sea legends, Krakenio will use its many arms to drag people to their watery doom. It is spoken about its children tales and nursery rhymes. It has controlled it was controlled by the Nami clan. It could create a whirlpool big enough to sink a battleship. Records talk of it being slain, slain in battle, but there are rumors of it being sighted in more recent times. Lavito the frozen spear. The second of the lo three legendary sea creatures has it had a deeply sharp ice horn on its head. There are records which show it has the possession of the Tisuki clan for a period of time. When they lost possession of it, their empire fell apart soon after. It is thought still hibernate within an icy cavern on the sea floor. By Tato, the Boiling Wrath. This mighty snarkbit is perhaps the best known of the three legendary sea creatures due to a famous shipwreck that happened 45 years ago. A fighter went missing and turned up several weeks later with his hull partly melted off and not a single soul on board. Many believe this is this to be a sign that Batito that by Tato <laughs> had emerged from hibernation. However, scientists still uh, have still not been able to locate it since. Huh, okay. Leon, yeah, you're making this difficult. When I touch that, when I mess with my notebooks. <clears throat> Truth is, there's no point in talking to anyone. Why is that door open? There's no point in um, going to any one of these places. Wait, who are you? I'm Funnel. Oh, from Pokemon Black and White. <laughs> A scientist from the Unova region. I decided to come here on vacation since this region was an interesting and unique culture. And this is Dream, my Mushana. I specialize in research on Pokemon Dreams. I even help it build a device called a Dream Visualizer. Using Mashana's power, I can look inside dreams of Pokemon. It truly is fascinating. You're saying there's a little girl in Venice DC who's trapped in a dream? 
That's a little outside my expertise. I mostly specialize in Pokemon dreams. Still, there must be something I can do to help. Okay, I've made up my mind. I'm going to go to Venice City and see if I can help this girl. After all, what's the point of science? What's the point of science if it can't make people's lives better? I'll see you there. I hope. Oh well, there's something right there. <laughs> I guess I proved myself wrong. Who are you people? I'm the Pokemon special attack move tutor. I know every special attack based on the move that a Pokemon can learn using ancient secrets. If you have four shards, damn it. This guy has the same thing, with different orbs. Okay, so I need shards. <laughs> I don't have shots. Why are, are you crouching down like that? What are you doing? She wants a mini corn. I don't have a mini corn, baby. My daughter is obsessed with collecting toys of the Pokemon mini corn. It's her dream to see one one in real life. If you show it to her, she, I'm sure she will be overjoyed. That is my container for my tea things. Stop putting the. Okay, you know what? You can't touch my my globe. Uh. Now play with this water bell. Play, play with this. I am, how am I to describe the supreme leaders? Well, to put it simply, they are the spiritual, political, and historical foundation of Tsukinami. Without them, we would not know peace. They are truly blessed by the gods. I doubt it. I am the Tisuki. I am of the Tisuki clan, and my wife is the clan Nami. If not for the example set forth by our leaders Hinata and Kaito, a love such as ours could not have never happened. I guess it goes to show how powerful love can be. Not really. Princess Hinata is bright like the sun. We bow our heads to shield our eyes from her radiance. Oh wow. You people worship this. You're a trainer, right? Then you should know how Kaito and Hinata are the gym leaders of Tsukinami. They don't use any particular type, but their name, their, but the theme is night and day. The temple of Otis and Motius is the biggest building in our village. It was erected to signal the end of the war that uh, that lasted for more than a hundred years. Since the temple, the temple is also a gym. That's right. Thank you for putting the war ball on that table. Since the temple is also a gym, all battles inside are sacred rituals. Weird. I should just keep you on my lap and just... But now I know you're just gonna start crying. Oh, so you guys are those ninjas. I'm not sure if I... Do I need to talk to them? Are you that Hokage I beat it? A while ago, so you arrived to see me at my very lowest point, stricken by my shameful defeat, so easily overcome by a child. I cannot allow my my face outside my village until I have mastered the six sacred arts under Grandmaster. Stop shaking it. Six sacred arts under Grandmaster Yoshi. So, but also, but so long as his ace disciples are scared in the winds, my training remains incomplete. I must grow stronger. You and I will have our fear rematch one day. Why are you waking up at the middle at 10 a.m.? Aren't you like. Don't most kids stay up like. Stay down. I mean, stay in bed till like 1. You literally woke up at like 10 a.m. Okay, I talked to those people. I talked to those people. I went to the museum. Mmm. -mm. Okay, I'm in there. Okay. Let me talk to these guys one more time. I didn't talk to the rest of them. I just want to see, like, what, what the hell else am I doing? I am Ginning, 
The Pokemon Sardine is my secret weapon. Amazing. This one, this one's name is Chunin. I ride the waves as swiftly as, as the wind. Surfing ninjas. I am one. I am the one that is called Junin. I attack by throwing fry knives like knives. How am I saying? Well, that's about it for them. I think I hit my Pokemon right. Yes. Okay. So we are ready to take on the gym leaders. Now, fortunately, these guys are really strong. But we're going to get on it on the next episode. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to end this very shortly because my nephew is here. I wish I could continue and take on the gym leader. But the truth is, this gym is like very, very long. So, did I just save? Yes, I did. So, I can't really take it on just now. Um, I will take it on later. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I will be back. Till then, peace.